There have been some tough times for Twitter and things don't seem to be getting any better uh, better anytime soon. That's because the company is already in a court battle with Elon Musk over a failed acquisition bid. And now the microblogging site is facing a huge image crisis and it's being slammed by an ex-employee. His name is Peter Zatko. He was Twitter's security chief until he was fired earlier this year. Zatko has now become a whistleblower and has made some explosive allegations. He testified that Twitter misled users and US regulators about gaps in its security. Let's take a look at the claims he has made about Twitter's negligence and security lapses. Well, his first claim is that Twitter significantly underestimated the number of fake and spam accounts. This allegation is actually at the core of Musk's attempt to back out of the Twitter takeover. Secondly, he claims that too many employees had access to sensitive systems and user data. This made the firm potentially vulnerable to spying and sabotage from hostile foreign actors. Claim three is that Twitter failed to properly delete the data of people who had cancelled their accounts. He also alleges that Twitter failed to upgrade its server infrastructure, leaving it vulnerable to severe breaches. He also says that software and security updates were disabled on more than a third of employees' computers. This unduly exposed them to malware. Also, it was common for people to install whatever software they wanted on their work systems. Such uh, lapses are typically considered uh, cardinal sins in the cybersecurity industry. And finally, according to the whistleblower, uh, disclosure with US regulators, uh, Twitter knowingly allowed the Indian government to place its agents on the company payroll where they had direct unsupervised access to the company's systems and user data. As one would really expect, Twitter has rejected all of these claims. The company calls it a false narrative about its privacy and data security practices. The social media network has labelled the whistleblower as a disgruntled employee. But the revelations give Musk new angles to pursue in his legal battle. Let's listen in on what social media analyst Jasmine Enberg says on this topic. It certainly makes things more complicated for Twitter. In many ways, Twitter has had the upper hand in this case against Musk so far. Um, While Musk has repeatedly complained about the number of bots on the platform, he really hasn't been able to provide any evidence outside of his own experience. And now he can use these allegations really to bolster his argument. Well, it really remains to be seen if these allegations help Elon Musk strengthen his case against Twitter. And for Twitter, the whistleblower problem is now way bigger than Elon Musk's bot complaints. Most importantly, though, this could give regulators an opening to crack down on large tech firms. The legal non-profit whistleblower aid is working with Zatco. They gave some more insights into the situation. Take a listen. This was a last resort for him. I mean, he worked hard inside the company to get these addressed. Uh, he's worked, in fact, um, one of the elements of the disclosure is after he was fired, he was asked to produce a report um, for the board of directors uh, about some of these issues which he did without pay, without access to any of his systems because he'd already been fired. Um, And uh, still, uh, you know, I would say getting to this point where he's he's having to do this publicly, it was not his first, his second or his third choice, but it's where he he ultimately ended up uh, after he had exhausted every other channel. What's interesting about Mudge is he he's well respected in both the hacker communities, which are of course pretty uh, anti-authoritarian, um, and uh, the U.S. intelligence community. So um, he's worked with the CIA, with DARPA, uh, with the White House, multiple White Houses. Um, he's been recognized. In fact, he got the highest award uh, available to a, a civilian non-career employee from the Secretary of Defense um, for his work at the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Um, where he was doing, um, you know, cutting edge, both offensive and defensive cyber work. So uh, 
Mudge uh, knows what he's talking about. 